Before designing a database, you need to know the two ways information is viewed in a database. Let's take a look at logical database design. The physical view involves how data is stored and retrieved from storage media such as hard disks, magnetic tapes, or CDs. The logical view involves how information appears to users and how it can be organized and retrieved. The first step in database design is defining a data model, which determines how data is created, represented, organized, and maintained. A data model usually includes these three components. Data structure, which describes how data is organized and the relationship among records. Operations, describes methods, calculations, and so forth that can be performed on data, such as updating and querying data. Integrity rules, define the boundaries of the database, such as maximum and minimum values allowed for a field, constraints, which are limits on what type of data can be stored in a field, and access methods. In a hierarchical model, the relationships among records form a tree-like structure. Records are called nodes, and relationships among records are called branches. The network model is similar to the hierarchical model, but the records are organized differently. A relational model uses a two-dimensional table of rows and columns of data, much like an Excel spreadsheet in application form. The data dictionary can also store other definitions, such as data types of, for fields, default values for fields, and validation rules for data in each field. The field name would be like a student name, admission date, age, or major. The date type would be a character, like text, a date, and a number. The default value is the value entered if none is available. For example, if no major is declared, the value is undecided. The validation rule is used for determining whether a value is valid. For example, a student's age cannot be a negative number. In relational databases, every record must be uniquely identified by a primary key. Student ID numbers, social security numbers, account numbers, and invoice numbers are examples of primary keys. To establish relationships among tables so data can be linked and retrieved more effectively, a primary key for one table can appear in other tables. To improve database efficiency, a process called normalization is used, which eliminates redundant data, like ensuring customer names are stored in only one table, and this ensures that only related data is stored in a table. Data stored in a relational model is retrieved from tables by using operations that pick and combine data from more than one table. A select operation searches in a table and retrieves records based on certain criteria, also called conditions. A project operation pages down a table by eliminating columns or fields according to certain criteria. A join operation combines two tables based on a common field, like the primary key in the first table and the foreign key in the second table.